What Alistair Crane wants, Alistair Crane gets. Adios, Catherine and Martin. What are you doing out so late, Catherine? I didn't give you permission to take a stroll. Mother, how could you leave me that way? Didn't you love me enough to stay and protect me? Why are you crying? I just have the strangest sense that, that, that Sheridan is in some danger. You were sound asleep. It was just a bad dream. I hope so. I'm worried about Paloma. It's late and she's not in your room. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe she's taking a walk. No, I don't think so. She's been on edge ever since we talked to her about visiting her family in Harmony. Oh, well, I don't think, I don't think we can blame her for being anxious. I'm not blaming about. her. But what have I done to my daughter, Catherine? If I hadn't left Pilar to run away with you, then maybe she would have been able to keep her at home with her and the other children. Paloma hates her mother, and it's my fault. You've been a good father to Paloma. She doesn't even know she's my daughter, Catherine. She thinks that we're some kind of long-term guests at the inn who've grown fond of her over the years, like an aunt and an uncle. But is that so terrible, really? I mean, you've had the opportunity over all these years to watch her grow up, to be there to protect her if there should be any harm. You're so dear to me to try and make me feel better when you didn't get to be near your own daughter. I'm so sorry for what you had to give up, Catherine. I lost my daughter, and I lost my son. But I've had a second life with you. And that's precious. Sometimes when something is very precious, there's a great price. I just hope and pray that our children weren't damaged too badly by our decision. I thought it would be easier to be without Sheridan over time just seems to be getting harder. Because of what she's been through? My beautiful, loving daughter has suffered so much over these last few years. She doesn't deserve it. She can't seem to find any peace. How ironic that two of my three sons are so in love with her, they do anything to make her happy. Well, that's the trouble. Luis and Antonio love her so much, they'd be willing to kill each other just to have her. It's tearing her apart inside. I'd only been there all these years to watch my sons grow up. Maybe, just maybe, Antonio wouldn't have left home and he and Luis wouldn't be in this eternal competition. And if I hadn't abandoned Sheridan, I'd be there with her now, helping her get through this, helping her know what to do. What have we done, Martin? We did what we had to do for us. But what about them? What about them? Do you think we should go home? Oh, you know we can't take that risk. Well, then what do we do? Do we just keep hiding? Can we ever really escape the repercussions of our actions? We left our children, we left our spouses. We may have to pay for our actions and in ways we haven't even considered. <sighs> Hasta la vista, you too. Somebody's crying. It's Paloma. <laughs> oh, darling. Oh, you won't cry. Oh, can we help you? No, tia. 
Come on in, darling, and talk with us. See how nobody can. Sweetheart, can you at least tell us why you're crying? Hmm? It's stupid. I can't believe I was foolish enough to get my hopes up. About what? My mother, a friend told me that there was a woman named Pilar looking for me. And I was so excited. It had turned out to be someone else. For a minute, I actually believed that sh she came to take me to harmony with her. That she missed me enough to come all the way here. Darling, she's been so ill. It doesn't matter, dear. She wouldn't have come here anyway. She would have to love me to do that. And we all know she never has and never will. I can't believe that that's true. How can you defend a woman who leaves her daughter alone in the world to fend for herself? From what I understand, she sent you here because she believed you would be truly loved and cared for with your aunt, with your cousins. I mean, she only wanted the best for you, sweetheart. Every parent wants that for their children. Not me, Madre Tio. She had five children. And what did she do? She singled me out to live in another country. So she wouldn't have to raise me. She wouldn't have to know me at all. Why did my father have to die? He was a good man, and he loved me. I just know he did. He never would have sent me away. Did you hear how she spoke about her father? She thinks so highly of you. Well, she wouldn't if she knew the truth. That's not so. Everything she described is true. You're kind and loving, honorable, and you love your children with all your heart. Yeah, you left them without a father, left them to think I was dead. You know, Paloma would loathe me if she knew the truth, and I wouldn't blame her. I hate what I did to my family. Damn him, damn Alistair all the hell. 